Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Jossio. I am an artist. If you don't already know that, some of you do know that already. Uh, make sure to like this but like <laughs> make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe. Uh, more videos like this is gonna come out. I'm gonna be talking about custom sneakers right now and some of the things that I've learned um, about doing it. I have a blog, jossio.wordpress.com, where I did post some of my work with doing custom sneakers. I did um, some Dominican Republic uh, flag sneakers, and I also did, um, I was gonna do a Gurren Lagan one, that's the, the mock-up is on there. I did some Trinidad and Tobago coat of arms um, design on my mom's sneakers. Uh, I did a um, revamp, like a, like a redo situation where someone has some old beaters and I've made them better. So I've done it a couple different ways. My first couple um, iterations of doing sneakers definitely wasn't that great because um, I didn't understand um, things about paint consistency and when you, for instance, purple is a color you have to layer in um, and then you have to, versus like, uh, what other color is it? Like blue doesn't have to be layered in as much. But you know, things like that, those are things that I've observed. And so I'm gonna tell you today is just about, you know, I'm gonna give you like five tips uh, or things in general that I know about custom sneakers. Uh, once again, comment below to let me know what else you wanna know about custom sneakers and painting on shoes in general or painting in general. Um, I do do other things where um, I do abstract paintings, I've, I've painted on shirts, I've painted on obviously shoes, I'm going to talk about that, and um, I've done digital paintings as well. So comment below letting me know what else you might want to learn from me. Also check out some of my other videos where I have been doing more traditional paintings and you know let me know what you think about those as well. Anyway, back to custom sneakers. A couple things. I'll start with number one. Custom sneakers is definitely something that is time consuming. It takes a lot of time to prep your shoes before you paint them um, and there's a lot of steps in which you have to take. So don't think of it as like a quick, you know, maybe like a day project or something like that or a couple hour project. Maybe it will take an entire 24 hours to, to work on your shoes and even get to some form of completion depending on your design. So that's one thing. Just remember that it's very time consuming. Number two, you have to prep your sneakers. Prep your sneakers, especially if they're leather or um, just non-canvas in general. Converse, those are easy to paint on. Toms, those are also easy to paint on because you know it's already a type of uh, material that's going to absorb paint and you know hold it in general. So it's, it's harder to scrape paint off. Uh, whereas with leather, it's already smooth. And so you're applying something smooth onto something smooth, it's less likely gonna grab um, the paint. Also, a lot of shoes have finishings as well. So, I, and I don't know this for sure, but I assume it's just to keep dirt and everything off, make it easier for you to clean your shoe without actually like damaging it. So, prepping is really important and you would use acetone or nail polish remover. You can get that from Walmart um, and use, um, Q-tips and cotton balls. Um, I use cotton balls primarily for large areas and Q-tips for those detailed areas where you see the stitching is on your shoes. So think about that when it comes to doing custom shoes. You have to prep your shoes. Um, in general, you should clean the shoe in general because um, you don't want to get dirt under your paint or get your paint mixed up with other things that you don't want to be on your surface. So general cleaning is important another layer or another level when it comes to leather shoes is to use acetone to take the protective layer off of the leather and it, it's going to look like you're damaging the shoe a little bit especially if it's all white because you know you're taking off like leather isn't isn't necessarily pretty at all times um obviously if you're being sold products they have to look nice and shiny so there are um, other types of material that's put on top of your leather to make it look nice and smooth. But if you just go to like a, like a if you look up raw leather right now, if you, if you Google it, it's not gonna look as pretty as a, a SB Dunk or um, an Air Force One or a 
leather jacket or a, a purse. It's not gonna look as cool because you know there are finishings that have to be put on top of it. So you have to take those off before you start applying your finishings, which is your paint and things like that. So that's one, two, that's so three. Um, leather paint. I recommend even if you're gonna paint on canvas shoes like the Converse that I mentioned or the um, Toms that I mentioned, I would recommend getting um, uh, leather paint. Now, Turtle Feathers is a, is a place where I used to go. Uh, Angelus uh, is the company that makes the paint. And uh, I don't know if Tur Turtle Feathers still exists, but if you Google Angelus paint or leather paint, you should be able to find it very easily. It was kind of hard to get to before, but now like since custom shoes are, has blown up and it's a cool thing now, before you couldn't touch, you know, there's only a select amount of shoes you could you could really customize, like SBs primarily and like forces, and like then blazers came out and there were other shoes that you could then you know you know customize, and the custom sneaker community I was, you know, pretty much for me it was on the internet. I found um, Wigger Trigger TV. Um, he was doing customs and you know getting work that way on YouTube and doing a lot of tutorials and then I was on uh, Nike SB for a while seeing people's work and it was very underground is very um, not very <laughs> very much not cool at the time because people didn't trust the artist as much as they trust corporations or the companies that made the shoes anyway uh, it, nowadays it's cool whatever that the, whatever happened things have changed and um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh my God, no! But essentially, um, oh paint, yeah. So um, look for Angelus Paint. Angelus is the company that, that everyone has trusted since the early days and people still trust them today. You might find other companies that make leather paint. Do you? Uh, it's not that big of a deal for me, but make sure it's leather paint because it's flexible. That's the main reason. It's not gonna chip and crack on the surface, something you do not want. So really take that into consideration when you're doing custom shoes. Um, because, you know, the point is to wear them and like show them off and, you know, that's the point of you know, having half the shoes you have uh, is to look cool and feel good about yourself. And so you want that feeling to last, right? Um, and even if you want to pass it down to somebody else, you know, it could be a family heirloom, you can go that far. But it has to last over time. So. Um, leather paint is the paint you want to use number four hmm oh yeah I mean, if you can I mean you can go freestyle all you want but I recommend you know thinking of your design ahead of time you can use digital um, painting apps pocket um, which is for iPhones um, you can use you know obviously Photoshop Pixelmator is on iPhones um, there's a lot of Autodesk, Draw, Sketch, there's a lot of different apps you can use and it doesn't necessarily matter which one as long as it allows you to apply color and apply lines, You're, you should be to draw lines like a pencil and apply color like paint, you should be okay. Because um, you more, more than likely it's going to let you import a photo of the shoe. So you can look up a shoe online, download it off of your, onto your phone or onto your computer put it into that program, draw on top of it. So you can have an idea of what you're gonna do. So there's less anxiety on you to like perform and take whatever's in your head and immediately transfer it to your final product. You know, I don't recommend doing that in general, unless, you know, some of us are visionaries like that where, you know, so clear in your mind, like, I got it. And you probably have practiced a long time on other materials, so you know what you're gonna do. You know, everything is of everybody, so, but this is my piece of advice. Do a mock-up, even if it's just a quick doodle, splotches of color, it doesn't have to be anything crazy finite, but at some level I find that if you, you know, throw it up, paint to the wall, you know, um, literally and figuratively, if you do that and see what sticks, what you like, what you don't like, um, it gives you a better idea of like, okay, maybe I want to do this differently. Number five, which is actually, I know, it just popped into my head, which is really important. The paint might not look the same way that you expect for it to look once it's already dried. Um, which means that 
things change over time because just the fact that I don't 100% know scientifically why, but I know that the purple, for instance, when I mentioned that earlier and I had to put multiple layers, the, the purple wasn't as, it was a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. It wasn't as vibrant. Um, so I had to reset my expectations at, at some point. So, and that's in general with paint. If you, uh, there's a company named Golden. If you go to a uh, Blick or if you go to um, a bunch of different um, art supply stores, Blick is a company they like will put a dab of paint like on on the bottle so you can know what it looks like dry. Um, so think about that with Angelus paints. I don't remember in my I haven't painted in a little while, but I'm gonna start. That's why I'm making this video to start giving value for people that want to get into it or have questions about it what you want to do is uh, just apply it to paper or apply it to you know some other plastic surface if you want to make it matchy like that and see how the color um, dries because because that's gonna give you a better idea of what's gonna happen um, so just be aware of that those are my five tips for um, painting make sure and like this video if you found that it was informative if you want to learn more as well make sure to comment let me know what else you want to learn or you can you know obviously message me my name on Instagram is G Y A S I O O O G Y A S I O and I also have um, that's my personal and the other one is G Y A S I O the art because I make art so Follow me there, message me there, message me here. Those are multiple ways. And also, Mr. Jasio, I spelled it for you. Mr. G-Y-A-S-I-O on Twitter if you want to message me there too or at me or whatever. And let me know what else you want to know as it pertains to painting on shoes. Subscribe because what I'm going to do, what I plan to do is make more videos around custom shoes um, actually incorporating other video content from other places and yeah peace out let me know what you thought about my tips five tips peace